All right, hey again, Honors Chemistry. I wanna start with number 10 and remind you of my favorite equation. For solu solution stoichiometry, you're gonna need my favorite equation. Molarity times volume in liters is equal to moles. Remember, whenever we do stoichiometry, I need moles. So I'm gonna be given enough information to give me my moles using molarity and volume. So let's look at number 10. I'm starting with number 10 because it doesn't give you all of the reactants and products, so I'm going to try and help you piece it together. So it says, how many moles of lead to hydroxide solid can be formed, that means it's a product, when 0 0.0225 liters of 0.135 molar lead nitrate, and by the way, that should be a little too, sorry, not a big two, solution reacts with excess sodium hydroxide. All right, so I have my reactants. I have when 0 0.025225 liters of 0.135 molar lead nitrate reacts with excess sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to start this out. PbNO3 little 2, that's aqueous, plus aqueous excess sodium hydroxide. One of the pro products is lead 2 hydroxide, so Pb. OH2, and it says it's solid. That's one of the products. Lead is 2 plus, and hydroxide is minus 1. And then what's left over, I use PB, and I use OH. The only thing left over, and we haven't done predicting products yet, but the only thing left over is Na and NO3. And I'm just going to combine them and say NaNO3, that's also aqueous. And then if I want to balance this, I put a 2 here, I put a 2 here, and we are in business. Okay, so I have two NAs, two NAs, two OHs, two OHs, two NO3s, two NO3s. Okay, now, using BCA table and my favorite equation, I'm going to be able to figure out my answer. Because this answer asks me for moles, so it's going to be... Straightforward. So I have 0 0.0225 liters of 0.135 molar lead nitrate. Remember, molarity times volume in liters is equal to moles. That's my favorite equation. My molarity is 0.135 molar, and the volume they gave me was 0 0.0225 liters. If I multiply these two, I'm going to get moles, and I could throw it straight into my BCA table. So 0.135 times 0 0.0225, I get 0.003, I'm going to leave it as zero, uh, zero. 0, 0.003, actually I do zero 0.03, moles of PbNO32. All right, so what did I do? My favorite equation, they gave me a, a volume and a molarity. I multiply those two together and that gives me my moles and I throw them right here. And this is what you did on your last unit test, and we did it in this unit as well. It said excess NaOH, and I don't really care. I'm going to leave that blank. And it doesn't talk about NaNO3. I only care about lead nitrate to lead hydroxide because the question's asking about how many moles of lead hydroxide. Well, I'm going to use all of this. And change is where the magic happens. It looks like, according to the balanced chemical equation, this is a 1 to one mole ratio. So my moles of lead nitrate are gonna be equal to my moles of lead hydroxide. So there is my answer, right? So I will get 0 0.00303 moles of lead hydroxide, done. All right, and you could say zero and you could start at zero here. Okay, now if I wanted to figure out how many moles of sodium hydroxide I use, I would just multiply this by 2, right? So this would be 0 0.00606 was used. And then that's how many moles of sodium uh, nitrate would be made, 0 0.00606 moles. It's a 1 to 2 ratio, just in case it was asked, but it wasn't. Okay, and then of course, if the question asks for grams... I would take these moles, just like we've been doing, and multiply it times the molar mass of PbOH2. Okay, so 
This setup is very similar to what we just did with solution uh, with stoichiometry and gases with PV equals nRT. We had to figure out moles using PV equals nRT sometimes, or we had to find volume later. This time we're starting with a molarity and volume. Multiply those two together. Those giving my moles. I throw them straight into the BCA table, and I'm doing straight up stoichiometry. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful and useful. I will show one more video with solution stoichiometry to kind of set you up.